Welcome to the first Roblox Volleyball uh, tutorial series. We're going to be going over rotations first. It's the first thing you need to learn about uh, volleyball. Even in uh, real life volleyball, the rotations are the first thing you learn pretty much in a match. Um, there's going to be three formations that you learn, 4-2, 5-1 and 6-2. But for this one, we're going over 4-2. For all formations, actually, before we start, the first uh, number, uh, the four in this case, is the amount of attackers there are. And the second one is the amount of setters there are. So that's just a thing to know throughout the entire thing. Um, so yeah, this is 4-2. What it means is two sides, four attackers. And uh, we're going to be going over how to run this formation since that's the first one you should learn when playing the game. Before we go over each rotation in volleyball, you need to know what the positions are. In volleyball, the positions work anti-clockwise. So the serving position is the first position. So the server is always on the back, right? Where Abella is. This is position one, and that's where serving is done. So it's anti-clockwise. So it goes over here, front right of the net. Position two, high low, the person recording. Position three, Quibby in the middle of the net. Position four, a dragon on the far left. Position five, Nicole on the back left. Position six, Okami in the back middle here. And then it goes back to one. Um, when you compl when you do one complete rotation, you will move one to your left, and then if you're back left, then after one rotation you go to the front, and when you're front right, after one rotation you go to the back, then you're serving, and then you just continue that cycle. Now we're going to go over each rotation specifically. So the first rotation you're going to want to go through in 4-2 is rotation number one. And this is where the setter is at position three, the front middle, and position six, the back middle. Um, I'm the setter in this example, but I'm off right now for the libero. We'll go through that later, but uh, just think the setter's here for now, I guess. Or lib, if you already know. Um, in rotation one, nothing changes because everyone's in the position. So there's a spike on the left and right and setter in the middle. Um, so at position one, let's say your team's serving. Abella, you can serve because you're at position one. A serve goes over, no one changes because everyone's in their position, so it's everything's the same. Um, when the other team is serving, no one changes. Uh, the uh, back row receivers, they want to pass the ball to the middle to the setter, so it's easy for them to set the ball. That's the target. So Anthony on the other team, if you want to serve, and we can see how that would um, play out. Receive, set, spike. And then now, because you've won the point, you then rotate to the next rotation. So you rotate, yep, yeah, everyone's doing it, one anti or counterclockwise uh, to the right. Um, Aaron is now at the serving position, Nicole's now at the front. Um, yeah, so he's ready to serve, and that's rotation one. So this is rotation two, right after rotation one, as you just saw, um, where now the setter is at position two. Um, how to fix this pretty much is um, when the ball is spawned, you're legally allowed to, in this game, switch with uh, these two players together. So we're going to have, let's say, your team serving. So uh, Aaron, uh, serve. And then you're going to see Quibi and Dragon switch positions. And now, so the set is in the middle, Dragon's on the right, and they're ready to play set is in the middle to set the ball, simple as. Um, so go back to your base positions. So base positions are your positions at the start of the rotation, if you didn't know that. And that's the uh, positions that you'd be for your rotation. So even if you swap hair when the ball is spawned, um, Quinn will still rotate to the back row because he was, his base position is at position two. So when the other team is serving, it's the same concept. So Anthony serve. When the ball is spawned, Quinn and Dragon will still swap. So Quinn's ready in the middle to set the ball to left or right. And then there's a hit either way then that's it. Then it's the next rotation. So now Quibi would be back row because they just won the point of the other team. You only rotate when you win the point of the other team when the other team is serving. And that's when you win the rotate. Um, actually, in this case, because Sokami is playing Libero here, um, Libero is a position where you can only play them back row and they have an infinite amount of subs. So me as the other setter, I am now going to come on the court. And now we'll go over rotation three. So this is rotation three now. We're coming off right um, where the setter is now at position four. Uh, this is once again the same concept. You want to get the setter in the middle of the net so the receives go to the middle and the setter can set to the left or right to the spikers. So 
Um, in this rotation, by the way, a good thing to know for all rotations, the setters are always opposite each other. So if you're playing a game and they're not opposite each other, there's probably something wrong with the rotation and you should fix that. But um, all the libero, when the libero is on, which you're going to see soon, but the setters are always opposite each other. So when the setters at position four right now, I'm at the front left. Quibi at uh, position one also. And um, same concept, just middle and setter switch. That's it. Setters in the middle ready to set. Um, spike is on the left, ready to spike, simple as, everything's ready. Uh, when we lose a point and the other team serves, um, it's a bit different because let's say, so a libero can only sub in the back row and they're a defensive specialist. So the setters who may be weak at receiving, they can sub off for the libero to come on. So Quibi, you're off for Sokami. Um, so Sokami's on as a libero and uh, Quinn's the setter who is off and he will come back on when Sokami reaches the front row again after like a few rotations. So now the other team is serving, which is why, because Liberos can't serve, which is why they went on earlier. So now uh, Weyers will be serving, and uh, we'll show you how that is again. So Weyers serve. It's a normal serve, yeah. Uh, switch, sets ready, and then the sets there. Um, people spike, people you get points, but that is the rotation. And um, yeah, that's rotation free. And that's pretty much all the rotations that you need to know. Um, because when you rotate again, if everyone, ro if we won that point, everyone rotate once again. So Nicole would be at the front right, I'm in the middle. Uh, Bella would go to the front left. And now we're pretty much at the same rotation that we started in. Apart from I'm over here and Quinn's off. And so if you rotate, it's the same thing over and over again. Um, one thing to note, for all rotations, let's say um, me and Nicole are here. Uh, you can't, um, let's say Nicole's a setter in this case, random example. You can't swap with someone until the ball is spawned. Because if you're like past them and ahead of them and the ball is spawned, then that's counted as an illegal rotation because you're not in your standard base position at the start. So make sure you're in your base position and only when the ball is spawned, you switch to the side that you need to go to. This is also the same on back row. You shouldn't uh, pass another back row player without the ball spawning, otherwise it's illegal. But once it's spawned, then you can swap wherever. Let's say high low works better on shorts, so Kami and high low can swap, um, but the ball has to be spawned first. But that is basically the 40 rotation, the most basic formation you need to know in Roblox Volleyball and in real life volleyball. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoyed that, I guess. <laughs> Anthony Sav, on the other side. Um, front row stay the same, back row just get ready to pick the ball. The setter in the middle sets it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>